I am back with another video and today I will be going over how I create my sneaker ball centerpieces step by step. So here I am. I'm going to go ahead and go to Google and I'm going to go ahead and look for the sneakers that I am looking for. So here you're just going to go ahead and save them to your photos. Just search for whatever sneakers you're looking for. They don't have to be blue. They could be whatever color you like. So then you want to go ahead and open up the Canva app. Go to custom size and change the PX to inches and type in 20 by 30. From there, you want to go ahead and go to your uploads and then upload those photos you just saved to your device. And then from there, go ahead and let them load up into your Canva app. Now you can do this on your phone, your tablet, your desktop computer, whatever you have. This is personally on my cellular device. So here you see me sizing all of the sneakers into the right position where I want them to be. I want to be able to cut them out and I also want them to be able to be around the same size. I don't ever measure like what size the actual sneaker is. I just know I make them big enough to be on that 20 by 30. Um, so they may not be the same exact size. Um, that's okay for me. Um, for you, if you want them to be the same size, um, I'm not sure how you can kind of get them to be that same size. But um, if you find out, let me know. So here, once I do get them in the correct size where I want them, I would also show you that if you need to, you can also flip the image. Um, it would be highly recommended to have Canva Pro to access some of these features. So once I am satisfied with how I have everything positioned, I'm going to go ahead and save this collage to my photos. From there, I'm going to go ahead and open up Walgreens on my phone. I do print these off at Walgreens. You can also print them off at Office Depot or whatever you like. Then you go to photo, then prints. And then from there, you're going to go to poster. Um, at the top of the screen, there's always a coupon that you can use towards the end. So you, you want to go to posters and it's going to say $12.99. From there, you can choose to print this off on a satin paper or an adhesive paper. There's a difference within the price as you can see. I specifically printed this off on a satin paper. Um... I really didn't care to do it on the adhesive one like I did before. I just wanted to try it out to see if there was a difference. And there's really no difference as far as the quality of the picture or anything like that. So then I want to go ahead and upload that same collage to my Walgreens app. I logged in as well. And from there, um, I want to change the orientation of this photo. So I'm just going to go to size, change that to the landscaping portion. And I'm just going to review it, make sure everything looks okay. It'll say low resolution, but just disregard it because it's going to come out clear as you, you'll see in the end. So then there, you'll go ahead and add that coupon code. Mine was not working for me. I guess I've used it too many times, <laughs> obviously. But it should work for you, that code there. Um, you shouldn't have an issue with it. I tried to use some different codes just to show you that you can take money off. Um, when I did print this off, it came out to like 12 bucks. So yeah, um, just use whatever coupon is there for you just so you don't have to spend too much out of pocket. And once you do that, you're going to go ahead and place your order. But make sure that when you're placing your order, it allows you to pick it up within the same day or like next day. Because you don't want to have to wait for like shipping or anything if you need these. So then once I got my prints, I then took my hot glue gun and a poster board that I got from Dollar Tree. They are $1.25. And this is just what the satin paper looks like. So as you can see, the quality on this looks so good. You don't even have to question it, okay? So for this, all I used was my hot glue gun, a poster board, and then the actual paper um, with the shoe collage on it. And I just took my hot glue gun and glued it. And I tried to make sure around the edges, everything was pretty secure. Just so when I do cut it out, I don't have any like, flaps or anything like that so this is pretty much what it all looked like once i had them all adhered to that poster board so then i want to go ahead and take my hot knife and just start cutting um, out those sneakers well, previously in a video that i had before i did use just a regular blade knife 
you can use whatever you have i will link in the description where i got this hot knife from which is amazon they also have other options or you can just choose to use a knife whichever is convenient for you but please be careful yeah. So now that I have it all cut out, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Now you see I do have some edges. Um, I am going to go ahead and trim those up shortly, you'll see. But this is pretty much what it looks like when I cut it out. It looks like an actual sneaker. <laughs> Now that I have them all cut out, I'm going to go ahead and trim the excess off. I want to have them a nice clean look, so I'm going to ahead and cut all the excess off of each one. So now that we have our cutouts all cut out, I'm going to go ahead and take my hot glue gun and find and make sure that all of the edges are secured. I don't want any like flaps or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go around each one and make sure that none of the edges are coming off. Okay, so now that we have our cutouts all cut out, I went ahead and got four boxes from Walmart. They are just regular moving boxes. They are a six by six. I'll go ahead and link them in the description below. I also went and picked up some gloss spray paint from Walmart as well in the color black. Now you're just gonna go ahead and spray paint them until you have that full coverage that you're looking for, okay? Now that I have everything put together, I just went ahead and taped the opposite side of those boxes and added some tissue paper in there for my client and they are ready to go. I also included all the materials she will need, the lights, I included the clear dolls and also of course her cutouts. So when she receives them, all she'll have to do is just adhere the clear doll to the cutout and stick them right into the box. Let me know if this helped you. And also, if you would like to see any other videos from me, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I will be having a few other videos in regards to how I install floor wraps as well coming up soon. But can we get into this wig as well? I got this from Amazon for 20 bucks. I'll go ahead and link that in the description as well.
So now that I have that all finished up with the cutting, I'm then going to take my glue gun and going to make sure that all of the edges on that sneaker is adhered to the poster board. Because when you're cutting it out, sometimes it may not all be glued down. And you want to make sure it's all glued down just so it's not flapping anywhere or anything like that. So you just see me lifting it up just to make sure that there's no sides of the sneaker that is not adhered to the poster board. And I'm going to do that for each sneaker. Okay, so now we're on to the fun part. So I went ahead and got four six by six just moving boxes. You can get them from Walmart or you can also get some boxes from Michael's or Hobby Lobby and just spray paint them. So I got this spray paint from Walmart as well. Um, it was about six bucks with tax and you want to go ahead and just spray paint. Um, let that paint dry, let it sit and flip the box over and paint the other side as well. Okay, so here you'll see me preparing the centerpieces to be shipped off to my client. I went ahead and just taped the opposite side and also filled them up with some tissue paper for her. And so inside, I did also include a styrofoam so she'll be able to stick those clear dolls inside. She'll have to go ahead and tape the cutout to the clear doll so she'll be able to just allow it to stick inside of the box and she'll have her centerpieces. Let me know if this tutorial helped you out in the comments below, but also check out this half wig that I got from Amazon for 20 bucks. I'll go ahead and link that in the description below as well. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel and stay blessed.